one that what is pleasing to the eye is bound to be pleasing to the appetite. If you're making a shrimp salad and you happen to run short of shrimp, mix these in with the regular shrimp. On my word, you couldn't tell the difference until you start to eat them. If you ever wanted a recipe for crushing disappointment, I'd say it's that right there. We'll call this here some hamburger. Fortunately, I know a guy who can spot a good shrimp from a nautical mile away. It's my pop. And he turned me on to what I think is the best seafood joint in Atlanta. The Red Snapper is another culinary treasure on Cheshire Bridge. And while the Snapper has a number of fine dining seafood items, we'll dig into their celebrated ginger snapper a bit later. The real draw for me is the traditional seafood platter, a genuine work of batter fried art and one of my pop's true passions. Okay, Pop, when we talk about old school seafood, this is as close as it gets. This is it. So what do you look for on a seafood platter that really says says Captain's Platter to you? Fried oysters, fried shrimp. Yeah, and they and they do yeah. both of those here. They've got both of them here that are absolutely fantastic. Yeah, when you were telling me about this place originally, you were like, this is the be best fried shrimp I've ever had. And I was like, yeah, whatever, Pop, you know, but you're but, right. But it is, you know, it's prepared perfectly. Their batter doesn't overwhelm the taste. It's almost a temper. It is. That's exactly. It's almost a tempura, but it works in the it works in the real southern style. Now this is another thing that is is, is stunning to me too here, is their gumbo. It is so much gumbo is tomato based. Yeah. And yeah. This, this is totally different. But. It's a peppery, briny, briny gumbo. Let's do one where I'm not spilling it in my beer. <laughs> Okay, ready? Oh, blow the man down, please blow the man down. Me way, blow the man this food brings back memories for us. My great-great-grandfather came into this country near Savannah, and we've always maintained a close connection with the Georgia coast. All of our family family holidays and stuff have been centered around seafood, whether it was, whether it was a bushel of oysters at, at uh, Christmas or, or a case of crab legs, or whether it was game we had caught, things like that. You and I did something every Thanksgiving where we would go to Sapelo Island. What did we do on Sapelo Island? We went deer hunting. Yeah. And it was a father-son. It was a father-son. From the time you were 12 years old to the time you were 16, we went. Jimmy, I'm mighty proud of you. It's been the most fun I've ever had. Next year, let's do it all over again. That's a date. Well. Now, in Darien proper, there was a seafood restaurant that you and I ate at before we left. Archie's, Archie's, Archie's. <laughs> That's right, Archie's. And we ate there every we ate there when we got there and we ate there as we were pulling out. Right. And that was one of the that was one of the touchstones for this. When you found this place and you said, Jim, it's like Archie's, I was like, no way. Yep. And and here it is. So that I have to thank you for for turning us on to the snapper because it's it's definitely become a new tradition for us and our family for sure and the great thing about it it's never been a disappointment yeah absolutely yeah. <laughs> absolutely <laughs> it's safe to say that jimmy hadn't heard of archie's when he came to the states from thailand in 1973 but by 1985 he had his own seafood place he took over a cajun restaurant and renamed it the red snapper but he had to keep some of the other changes hidden at first. We're not sure that they really trust us, yeah. you know, to be like a foreigner from the other country, sure. try to prepare a Cajun style foods, thing like that. Sure. So basically in the first couple of years, I have to hide myself away from the dining room. So we don't let people know who really the owner. Yeah, sure. And then, you know, create your own dishes. Yeah. I play with it for a while and then come up with a good recipe for ginger snapper. There we go. Man, that looks delicious. Oh, that yeah. looks delicious. Let yes. me try some of this here. Mm. Man, that is something else. It's nice and tart, clean tasting. The piece of fish is great. It's got a little bit of spice to it. I love these, love these sauteed shrimp here. You want one of these shrimp? No, thank you. Well, oh, why is well. that? <laughs> well, I'm allergic to all the shellfish. <laughs> I can't believe that. You sell the All the shrimp, crab meat. Everything the shelf is on top of the best, shelf. You sell the best shrimp in Atlanta and you can't eat it. Oh man, that's such a shame. Uh, We're gonna try this pop. Oh. <laughs> Air polish it off. I went outside with Jimmy and his wife, Samporn, to check out the herb garden. 
They've been able to grow a lot of herbs from home, like this Thai basil. They used to grow their own chilies, too, until somebody decided they needed to steal them. And while they've incorporated the flavors of Thailand, they've made a lot of changes since arriving, too. Sanborn was a nurse when she got here. You went from being a nurse to doing what? Cooking. Cooking? <laughs> and how did that work? I love it. And where did you go to school anywhere? Yes, I um, went to uh, New York, the ICE Institute of Culinary Etiquette. And how long were you there? Six months. It's something else. Six months in New York City is not bad, is it? Oh, I love it. <laughs> so you came back and started started working in the family business yes. here. So Cheshire Bridge has changed a lot, hasn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's an easier destination for people now, yeah? They're digging the street all the time. They're digging the street all, all the time. All the time, and <laughs> people don't want to come here because it's just terrible traffic. Yeah, because they're always digging something up, yeah. aren't they? Mm -hmm. That seems to be a problem all over Atlanta, though. So how does your day go? What time do you get up and, and get started? Usually I get up about 8 or 8.30 every morning, and then I come here maybe about 10, sometimes 10.30. All day, no, no All day stop. long, and then you get done with your dinner service and, and start wrapping up, and what time do you finally hit the sack? Uh, maybe 1 o'clock. And that's that's the restaurant business, isn't yes. it? Yes. Oh, Everybody, yeah. you, you've got to be ready for a long day. I really appreciate you having us here, and uh, I love so your restaurant. Much. It's one of my favorite places in Atlanta. We try. Yeah, you try. And you do, we you, try very hard. And you, and you nail it, too. Yeah, thank you really you. nail it. Thank you so much. Thank you. All righty. <laughs> get to work. <laughs> Back to work for them. On to the next place for me.